think it's time that we uh Yusuf L has has officially turned into them people or turned into one of them old men that has just lived long enough to see himself become a villain. Now, I, you know, I follow him as IG. So he's playing uh, the video about uh, another rapper supporting Trump. It's a white rapper. So let's let's take a listen. Mm. Fuck Joe Biden, man. I'm voting for Trump. Fuck Joe Biden, yeah, I'm voting for Trump. Fuck Joe Biden, yeah, I'm voting for Trump. Now, this is the same use of L that would tell you years ago that presidents are selected, not elected. This man breaks down sovereign versus non-sovereign, uh, citizen, uh, UCC 1, 2, 3 article, uh, administrative article, courts, all that good stuff. And yet, here we go in the comments. I say, listen, years ago, you're telling people the president is selected. Now it's get out there and vote for Trump. I said, okay, sir. And he, you know, getting angry in his, in his fifis. He says, take your ass over to the Democratic Party. Now, this man's an elder. This is how you talk to people. Um, this is what the, the, this is what the, uh, the election cycle has reduced people down to. Now it's just straight up just yelling and not even trying to hear anything outside of what you believe in. Like people are actually picking sides. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who they put in. You still got to find ways to make money. So then I respond. I said, I get it. You've become the crotchety old man who's losing the ability of a civil discourse. But at least you didn't call me a liar. Seems even you have fallen prey to the ordo ab chaos. That's what I said to him. Literally just now. Um, yeah, this is what happens when you live long enough to see yourself turn to a villain. You attack people that turn to you for information or look at you as a as a pillar or just a, as a wealth of, of, of knowledge. And this is how you treat people that don't always, always agree with what you're saying. I don't give a damn about Trump versus Kamala and neither should you, you know, but they're going to put in there whoever they put in there. At the end of the day, it's up to you to figure out loopholes and workarounds and, and ways to circumvent and how to make money to take care of your families. I, I shouldn't be... I am disappointed, and I'm saddened to see Yusuf El go out like this, because I, I've I've preached, and I've sung his praises many times on my channel for many years. You know, you want to you want to learn about you know getting status correction and do not detain list him, Asir, and Jonah Bay, and I don't know, man, just Yusuf, man, I, I don't know. Maybe the pressures of, of 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 life is finally getting to him. Maybe he's finally starting to crack under the weight of the knowledge. And I told people. You stay in this rabbit hole long enough, it will mess with you. It will fuck with you. You have to come up for air. You cannot be, you know, spending years and years and years in, in this knowledge and this information dealing with these type of topics and subjects and it, it not affect you. You have to come up for air. You can't, you can't, you, you, you be underground long enough, you, you become um, allergic to sunlight. You understand? Your eyes become used to the dark and any type of light or brightness will burn, literally burn your redness. You've been under, Yusuf L, you've been underground for too long. For too long. Y'all have a good one. Peace.